child that I had in my classroom one year and I used to have a really hard time connecting with my families. I was very standoffish before conscious discipline. My families were, the parents were the parents and the children were the children. But now it's a conscious effort to connect with families the same way that we connect with our children. So I had a family and my teaching partner and I had noticed that this particular child was coming in in the same clothes every day. Along with his mother who was bringing him to school each day, she was also wearing the same clothes. And so I noticed that and I talked with my, my teaching partner about it. And so we talked to the family one afternoon and asked them if there was a way that we could be helpful to their family. I had access to some resources in our community and as fortunate as we were, we were able to provide their family with an apartment that they could afford. We were able to furnish their apartment with furniture and we were able to help them find clothing. They had a spoon, they had a bowl, they had three cups and it was interesting too because it goes back to judgment. I remember the first week of school, this particular child, he, he laid on the floor all the time. Even when it was meal time, he wanted to eat on the floor. If we had judged the child, it would have, we would have approached it in such a different way rather than just noticing that this was something that was happening. And he sat on the floor, he wanted to sit on the floor because they had never had furniture in their place before. They had never had anything to sit on. So I will just never forget the mom coming back and talking to me and being so unbelievably grateful that she had a bed. She had never slept in a bed before and that her children were going to get to sleep in beds and they were going to, as children, because she did not have a bed as a child. And now she brings the children to school every day and not only does she bring that child but she brings her other children who are younger and they get greetings every morning and then she gets a greeting as well and there's just an unbelievable connection with that family but as well as our other families so it's just a life lesson for me that I had to be willing to let my wall down and be willing to connect with the families before those kinds of things could happen but it was only because of conscious discipline that I was able to do that